My new meta continues where I review lots and lots and lots of mini PCs, and I love it because I like mini PCs. This here is another Camry, a similar model to what I reviewed before. I reviewed the E2. This is the E1 black. Comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, 5, 12 gigabytes storage. It's meant to be a little low wattage system here. Uh, this one is actually, I'm going to review it, but it's actually going to a friend who's going to be using it as a little Plex server. So that's kind of one of the benefits of these. You can use them as a daily PC to just do daily tasks and have no problems. But I think a lot of people would benefit not just from that, but a little Plex server or something like that. This one here looks cute. It's got like a copper design to it. Nice tiny little guy. I don't really know what I can compare this to in terms of size, but it is very, very small. It's actually shorter in length than this NVMe enclosure and not much thicker. So it's a tiny little guy. Honestly, it's very small. And that's the purpose of it. So uh, you can see here you're going to get some little ventilation there. It's not going to run super hot, but it does need to have some ventilation. On the front, two USB-C. Should be relatively fast fast because they're the blue. So Gen 3 of some kind. We'll see how fast they are. Audio out. Power. Uh, two more USB on the back. These are more for, like slow stuff. So I'm going to be plugging in like a mouse, for example. Pop one of those in there. And then HDMI and display port out, whichever you want. A little Kensington lock slot. So it's pretty interesting. Pretty. Cute. You don't probably need to get inside this. Again, it's not a beast mini PC. It only has a single stick of RAM. Uh, it's going to run 16 gigabytes. It doesn't matter. This is not, again, supposed to be a beast. It'll be fine. You might want to upgrade the storage, but I think a lot of people, I mean, 512 coming with it is fine. A lot of people are going to use this as a Plex server type thing. You can hook up external there. It's going to hook up to a NAS, something like that. Depends what you're trying to do. So, I mean, you certainly could. It's not that hard to open. Pop it. Oh, that's dual sided. That's interesting. Uh, pop it open and then, you know, upgrade your RAM. Put in a 32 gigabyte stick for some reason. Okay, here we are set up. Just a little bit of a time jump. We have it over there, the little guy. Look how small it is. Model the M4, which is known to be a tiny Mac. It's very small compared to the last generation ones. And just look at how, there we go. Look how small that is there. Significantly smaller in just top area, right? The height is slightly smaller than a Mac mini, ever so slightly smaller than a Mac mini. Okay, so we'll do a little bit of Cinebench here. This is by no means remotely a powerful CPU. To be clear, I mean, I've tested this chip a lot in different devices. Uh, you're gonna get performance around here, maybe a slightly below uh, 11th gen i7 laptop pr processor, um, I which is fine. I mean, I did, I did video editing at CES last year on an eighth gen processor, which was way slower than that. It was a little slow, but I did it. 11th gen, I mean, you're not gonna be doing some crazy powerful compute on it, but you know, this is kind of in the same realm as that. So you can absolutely do that kind of workflow on it, but it's not what it's for. Like, it's not actually for that. Um, it is fine for desktop day-to-day -day stuff. Like if you get this for one of your parents or yourself, you know, you just wanna mess about, you just want a little box for doing work, like <laughs> schoolwork, that kind of stuff, professional work, Excel crunching, all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be actually fast. Like going through Windows here, like even when this is running, this is crunching away right now on its like doing its work here. And I mean, yeah, it's not gonna be slow coming in here and doing tasks while this is even running, right? It's more than enough for just day-to-day -day tasks. I have a laptop around here somewhere. I don't even know where it went. I'm testing it and it has an N150 as well. And it's fast. I don't notice any problems whatsoever. Um, so you can see the uh, throttling there a little bit, whatever, it's under load, interestingly. It's completely silent though. And uh, yeah, like I said, even when it's doing that, like yeah, it's throttling slightly, it's it's quick, right? The Using the actual mini PC is fast. It feels fast. It's not going to match, obviously, like I said, you know, some super, super, super demanding uh, desktop 14900, but it feels fast. We'll just come in here. We'll go like that there. We'll go like that there. Uh, Camry mini PC. I've done one of their things, so let's look at that one. Yeah, look at that guy's face. Look at that buffoon. Are you noticing any leg? I'm not. Uh, the machine to the right of this has a 9950X in it, a desktop 9950X, the most powerful consumer grade CPU you can buy. Uh, and there's no difference. When it comes to just messing around Windows, there's zero difference. It doesn't even matter. Internet speed test. Yeah, Wi-Fi is pretty quick. It's not 
blazingly fast, like 500 megabits a second, but that's fine. Like, yeah, you can use that. If you're gonna be using this as a media server or something or a media box underneath your TV, you're gonna have no problems. If you're gonna be using this as a daily driver PC for just whatever it is you do, schoolwork, whatever, it's gonna be nice and quick. Okay, one other thing to test here is the ethernet. My ethernet cable is weirdly short. Just don't have the ability to run it, so I moved the box over here, it doesn't matter. I'll just give it a quick ethernet speed here. I mean, the Wi-Fi, I was totally happy with it. Just get a rough idea of how fast this, yeah, it's fast. So it's gigabit ethernet and it should be gigabit ethernet because what you're potentially using this device for would be a media type server uh, or a little box under a TV that you're gonna you know, put on Netflix and that kind of stuff. So you do wanna have fast internet and that's really fast internet. So even if you're using it for just with Wi-Fi, it's gonna be quick enough, but I think a lot of people who would be using it for that purpose would be hooking it up over internet, uh, over ethernet to access the internet and they would want gigabit ethernet specifically for the use case of this mini PC. Okay, so the one negative so far is the uh, storage inside is actually quite slow. It's a SATA drive, but it's really slow. It's like eMMC. Uh, speed, you can just replace it um, if you care. I didn't actually notice, I mean, yeah, I came from the era of hard drives. It's still a, it's still a flash-based storage, like it's still a solid state storage drive. So boots are still gonna be quick compared to a hard drive or something like that. And just doing general Windows stuff, using it as a media PC, it's, it's not gonna matter. I just wanna see how fast the port is on the front there. This can do a max of uh, 10 gigabit per second. So up to 1,000 megabytes a second here. I have no clue how fast this is, we'll just see. It's 1,000, so yeah, so there you go, fast. So if you need to, the internal drive is actually not very quick. Uh, not that it really matters unless you're doing heavy work on it. If you're using it as like a media type device, then actually you're, pr I mean, you're probably gonna hop an external because you're not gonna run all your media off a tiny internal storage. So you're probably gonna do that and then you're gonna hook it up to an external hard drive. Uh, bay potentially, um, something like this over here. Right? I have a hard drive there, which will run at five uh, gigabit, or maybe NVMe storage or something like that, that'll run at 10 gigabit, and you're gonna be nice and fast. Okay, so we'll just wrap it up. What do I think about this little Camry mini PC? They have two, they have the E1 and E2. Uh, it's totally fine. It's completely silent. There's really zero noise that comes out of this thing. It doesn't make any sound whatsoever, obviously. I mean, that's to be expected out of the design of the device. Uh, it runs just fine. Using it for, let's say, a daily driver, a little Windows machine, it's actually totally fine. Feels snappy, no problems whatsoever. I mean, you just if you just need a little mini PC to do basic stuff, schoolwork, whatever, it's there's gonna be no problems whatsoever. It's gonna be nice and quick. Negative, I guess the only real negative of the device is the internal storage is quite slow, uh, 100, 150 megabytes a second. It doesn't really matter for what the device is for. In all honesty, it actually doesn't really matter. But I mean, if you want to use this as a daily PC and you were doing potentially more intensive stuff, then maybe it might actually start to matter a little bit. So then you might want to swap out the SSD. But if you're using it as like a little media type thing, box, stick it under your TV, it's not going to matter at all. If you're going to be sticking it somewhere else and using it as like a Plex type thing, it's not going to matter whatsoever. Uh, the reason for that is, I mean, you're not really using the internal storage at all for anything other than holding an operating system, which is actually called in memory, uh, you're actually going to be probably hooking up to an external device like this. That's where your like data would be, you know, your files, the thing there. So cute little device there. I mean, it's not a powerful mini PC, it's not meant to be, but it does have a nice efficient Intel chip in there and it will get the job done for what you're most likely going to buy something like this for.